It's 2017! And with the new year, I thought I would try something a little different. Appear on camera a little more. Try some intros to these videos, like this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. For this video, a friend of mine, Christian, he runs the regional theater out in Graham, Texas. I think it's actually that way. They just moved into a new building, built a new stage, and they needed a new sign. And since they are now on the, the historic, what, what, what was I saying? And since they are now directly on the historic square, I wanted to design something uh, classic, but still modern. And I made some dimensional letters out of, what I do with it? Expanded PVC sheet, often called Sintra or Comitex. Those are brand names. In all, it ended up being about 20 feet long, so I had to build it in sections just to be able to get it out there and to lift it up uh, onto, well, we had to stand on top of a, uh, a canopy that was probably 100 years old, which was interesting. Anyway, you'll see. Let's take a look.
the way, I would very much like to thank Steve Ramsey, whose video on Scroll Saw Shadowbox I just happened to catch the other day, and in which he demonstrated this little technique, uh, because uh, otherwise this would be a huge pain in my ass. Um, I'd be losing my mind right now. So, thank you. Steve Ramsey. Go check him out. more letters but it was about 1 30 in the morning and it was tedious and I was tired so I, I didn't bother shooting it sorry but I got everything loaded up now I have on my installation cargo pants hey I like the pockets and uh, should be there in well now I guess about an hour I think we're okay. 
ambiguous. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I gotta take it back to the shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, go down. Yeah. Up. And so we got it up just in time, just as the sun set. It took us a little longer than we had hoped because uh, those aluminum mounting rails that we had to put up there in the beginning, well, we got about halfway done with the bottom one and realized we were running into some, some decorative bumps, is what they were, in the face of the building, and they would mount flush. So we had to take all of them off and put them all back up two inches higher, starting from the beginning. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It's over here somewhere. And I've got some great projects coming up. Now that it's getting cold again in Texas, finally, I've pulled out my propane heater to uh, heat the shop. And I'm gonna need a mobile cart for that with a couple of little surprises. Plus, I've got another gigantic chandelier. This one's about 10 feet wide. If you haven't seen the one I did before, uh, it's about nine and a half feet tall. Consists of about 400 beer bottles. As far as I know, it's the world's largest beer bottle chandelier. Check out that video. I think that's up here somewhere. I'm also going to be making some upgrades to my DIY track saw. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Plus, I should be finishing up this little project in the next couple days, and you'll see that too. So stay tuned, keep checking back, subscribe, comment, spread the word. See you soon.